Removing this monument to Soviet soldiers in the Latvian capital of Riga could be considered a crime in neighboring Russia. Moscow has put dozens of Baltic politicians on a wanted list for destroying Soviet-era monuments, according to a government database. They include Estonian Prime Minister Kaya Kallas, a majority of the previous Latvian parliament, and Lithuanian culture minister Simonas Kairis. It shows that I'm going uh, in the right way. These allegations... Uh, he calls the allegations by Russia crazy. Crazy. They still have an uh, image uh, that they have power in uh, independent, uh, sovereign, democratic countries as Lithuania, but simply to say it's a nonsense. The three countries were once ruled from Moscow but are now members of both the EU and NATO. Since the Russian invasion in Ukraine, they've become staunch supporters of Kyiv and vocal critics of Russia. The Baltic governments regard the monuments as propaganda tools constructed by their former imperial overlords. We cancel uh, heritage protection to the uh, Soviet symbols, monuments, uh, which was uh, not used like a piece of art uh, in, in the Soviet occupation period. But uh, these symbols and monuments um, uh, were used uh, uh, to establish uh, regime and occupation. A Russian foreign ministry spokeswoman warned, this is only the beginning. She added, crimes against the memory of the world's liberators from Nazism and fascism must be prosecuted. The punishment under the Russian criminal code for monument destruction? Five years in prison, according to Russian state news agency TASS. But in practical terms, being on the list is unlikely to have real consequences. The politicians only risk being arrested if they enter Russia. We all agreed that uh, Russia is, is a big threat. Kalas, for one, has said up to 400 monuments would be dismantled in Estonia. On social media, she said she wouldn't be silenced by the Kremlin.